Good morning everybody and welcome to episode 34 of Fortress Craft Evolved um, 64 bit mode you know all the rest um, in this episode you can see um, straight away that we have a backup on the tin line oh I've got something here and um, so we're going to see what the problem is I believe it's the input tape because I believe we are running magnetic drill there, yeah. So it's getting to the point now of where we need to have a look at what we're doing here. We've got that full, that's not good. Um, how are we doing on this? That's still zero, so that's still going okay. Um, but yeah, we need a couple more hoppers to uh, be made. Let's see. Um, hopper. Um, we can't because we're actually waiting for the tin. So. I want to have a look at um, just how full these ones are he here. Get on. There's 49, 50, 51. So it's getting just over the halfway mark now. Um, so I think it's going to be coming up to the time where. I think we look at the upgrade for the smelter. Um, where are we? I think it's that one. Okay, T2 forced induction. And again, we're still waiting for um, tin. So, there's not much else that we can actually do because we, we've just got, got everything basically. and we can't put anything in to force it because it um, oh well, here comes tin it um, is already full lithium is going strong I know lithium has got mag a mag in um, we're, we're full on this look we're full on this a lot of glitches still not showing these um, we're out of these so let's get this filled up and let's just one two three four five I'm going to take this one because we've got a better use for that one and what have we got in here ok so we've got 45 ore there ok now the better use for it is take this line out here and put that one in there and that one in there and apparently I've got another one and that one in there so that's now doubled the capacity so hopefully we can get this tin line clear and this is just balancing out So yeah, so that's a lot more there coming in. So we're on about 50, 60 there, 50, 60. So yeah, I can't see it being too much of a problem. Um, still going strong there. Hmm. So let's see how we got 
enough for the ore smelter T2. No, we're only on 15. What about the storage hopper? Because I know we need one of those. Well, we've got enough for that. Um, just wondering what else we were going to do. Ah, the lift compressor. So, we're going to have a look at the lift compressor. Okay, so we've got that. Now, the reason we're going to have a look at the lift compressor today, and it's basically all I'm going to be looking at today. Um, so, if you know how to do this, not really going to be worth um, you watching the episode. So, we've got the lift compressor here. Okay, and the reason we're going to look at it is because this lift is um, the main lift that we use. And we are going to look at how it's used. Now, as far as I am aware, the lift compressor goes, um, let's see. goes here and basically it's just um, an add-on you can see the icon underneath it now what that does is it holds power now for us to get power into the um, lift basically you're gonna have to dig out a little bit of a hole now this is where we can do it either two ways Okay, now I'm going to make sure that we are facing the right way. Because what we're going to be doing is... Um, putting it down here, so we need to face this way. Which I am facing the right way. Okay, and basically what, what, we, what we would do is we would um, put down a PTG because I presume a PGT can um, run it we're going to put down a hopper here now again this is going to be a logistics hopper and we're going to put in some coal ore ok so that should be um, in there okay so that's going to start powering up now this here as you can see is going to have power and that power is going to be transferred to the um, stored pressure pit uh, PSI which you can see um, is uh, going so the current pressure is 24 okay which is is quite enough Okay, so it only stores a 4 PSI by the look of it. Yeah, so it's 154 PSI pressure up there. So, what you do now is we cover all this back up because we uh, don't need it. So now every time you use the lift, it will always be at maximum pressure, no matter what, because you've got the um, power supply underneath there. Now, to start and stop it, right, you need to also have one of these lift manual controls now unfortunately we can't do lift manual controls because we haven't got enough materials okay so I'm 
we're still trying to unlock one or two bits and pieces on here especially with the teleporter I'm still thinking of doing another macerator um, just basically because of the amount that we can get rid of um, storage hopper yeah nine so I just want to go and have a look at that I want to have a double check on this seeing how we're doing here okay s about 65 70 and yeah it's about 65 70 over there but how are these doing these are at 50 percent these are too high we do need to um get them out you can see that we're going quite quickly through here um but how did that one extra do you can see we're now not blocked up on that line so I'm kind of quite happy with that so I'm basically happy with where we are on this episode so that was just a quick episode on how to use the lift um, compressor unit so you've always got power so I'm going to say have fun, stay safe, see you next episode, bye for now.